So hello everyone, welcome to your PD education. So today in this video, I'm going to interact with Divyansh, who is recently selected for NPCIL as an executive trainee. So this video is going to be quite informative and handful, especially for those students who are aspiring to join NPCIL in the coming years. So Divyans, first of all, congratulations for your achievement. Thank you, sir. Okay, so could you start by introducing yourself so that audience can get better to know about your academics and previous academic achievements? Okay, sir. Sir, my name is Divyansh Kishwa and uh, I graduated from MNIT Jaipur in 2020. Okay. And then for two years around, I was in preparation phase and I do my preparation. And then last year, my rank was around 2000. And this year, uh, I got 622 rank. And then I got the interview call from NPCIL. And then I gave the inter interview at Bombay Center and finally got selected and got the joining letter. That's great. That's great. As you told, you have done your uh, BTEC from NIT, right? NIT Jaipur, right? Yes. So being a graduation or being a graduate from NIT Jaipur, why you didn't decide to go for a campus placement and corporate job? Because, you know, students usually from the NIT, they got a very significant and excellent job placements. So what was your, uh, you know, view or viewpoint on this? Actually, from the very beginning, I was very much interested in government job and I start uh, my preparation for GET. And apart from that, uh, uh, there are several factors like uh, um, transparency is there in the government job, stability is there in the government job. And uh, though the placements, uh, the uh, economy and uh, those uh, packages mm -hmm. are not much less from the private, but then I was uh, interested more towards the government job. So from the very beginning, my interest was in the government job. So I start preparation from the early phase. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. So your first shortlisting for the interview round was through gate score only, right? Yes, sir. So first phase was through gate score and then they conducted the interview, right? Yes, sir. So their final selection is merely on the basis of the performance in the interview or combination of both? Yes, sir. No, sir. The In NPCIL, the 100% weightage was of, was of this interview. Okay. So they took around 55 minutes my interview was there in NPCIL and they asked many questions and mostly the questions were they give on to describe on the whiteboard and uh, so everything was interview means you once mean to, I got you mean to say you mean to say there was a panel and there was a whiteboard also and they were not uh, asking uh, you know verbally question they were uh, asking you people to go on the whiteboard and discuss and explain the things right yes I think there was a mix of both the things Okay. But the more proportion was of going and describing everything on whiteboard because there were seven to eight members. Okay, so great. just doing something on the piece of paper right before the chairman was not visible to everyone. Right, so right. Just, they just asked me to go on the whiteboard so that everyone could see. So better to use whiteboard. Actually, as per my point of view as a student, it was also easy for us to describe the things on the whiteboard. True, very, very true. Right? That, see, sometimes yes, students are not in position to convey the things they know actually, right? Yes, sir. So when you are yes, being sir. provided with such kind of opportunity that you have the luxury, you can use the paper, pen or whiteboard and everything. Yeah, yeah. You can demonstrate the things in very well, better way, right? Okay. Yes, sir. I think that give me a better... Uh, point on mm -hmm. that basis also. Right, right, right. So the way now proceeding ahead, basically, uh, many times students find it's very difficult to crack the interview of NPCIL, BARC, ISRO, DRDO. Yes. Because they are yes, quite yes. deft technical interviews, right? So they are totally yes, focused sir. on your technical aspect, whatever you have studied in your past education, yeah, yes. which most of yes. the students have the graduation only, right? So can you brief out what kind of question they ask you, what was the level of interview, and what all subjects they covered did they ask you a question from your project related to your place and non-technical question? Give me a summary of this all stuff, please. Actually, sir, first of all, when I uh, got there, so they asked that uh, whether you have applied something else or you are some, doing something else. So at that time, when my interview was there, at that time, I got the offer letter, call letter from IT Delhi also. Okay. So I just tell them, they are told, uh, just asked me that whether I have come Mumbai earlier or it was my first time so i just tell them that uh, i have come mumbai from iit mumbai uh, interview so everything they just got the this thing and they asked me that what was your subject what were your preferences so i just tell them so i tell that all electronics drives was my, well, my first preference and then electrical machine so they took the subject from here only 
So they said the chairman said that uh, yes, I got uh, two three subjects from here also. So uh, my subjects were electrical power electronics, then machines, then power system, and then control. These were my four subjects. Right. And uh, then uh, from uh, they started uh, uh, asking questions from me. From first they started with power electronics. So they so they they were totally on uh, focused on the technical questions. Okay. Right. 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 So, what was the level and of they don't, as a student? What they, was your analysis? Yes, was sir. it basic question? Was it difficult question? Or was it like first they were starting with a definition, fundamental concept, and they were then they were digging inside and then then they were grilling the student? What kind of structure was there for the interview? Yes, sir. Actually, first of all, they will ask basic questions. Then step by step, they will move towards the in depth of that subject. Right, right. So, first member one member one will ask some basic question. Then. So from that answer, what will, I will give as my answer, then from that uh, second member will ask from that answer in depth. So th this is why this step by step, they will go towards the depth of that subject. What I conclude is whenever you are going for the interview of these organization where technical depth is primary concern, then whatever you are telling in the answer, whatever notation, concept, reference yes, you are using in the answer, then the cross question yes, is going to be from the same aspect, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. most of the time, sir. Okay, so what so was actually we can manipulate manipulate yeah. them towards what we know actually. Right, right, first right. right. I was uh, uh, having knowledge from for machine and this power system. So first they asked for power toys and then I uh, just mount the things towards the power system and then switch gear protection. So they asked. Yeah, yes. In fact, uh, Divyas, this is a very good point, which I keep on sharing with the student. If you find yourself yes, stuck in the, you know, uh, basically yes, answers sir. of the question, which you might not know, then you must have the art how to basically channelize your interview in the direction where you have good command, where your perfection, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So after interview, what was your evaluation? So were you satisfied with your performance? You know, how many questions were you able to answer and how many questions were like that? You even don't know what is the meaning of those things. Yes, sir. Actually, I want to mention here that the panel sitting in these organizations like NPCI, BAR, and those are very helpful. If at any point you stuck at some questions and you don't know, and even there were two questions at which I said, sorry, sir, I am not able to, able to recall this, but I uh, studied this. So just, just try to give me the point, give me the clues so that I could reach there. Right, so in right, two right. questions, in two questions, I was stuck and uh, I was not knowing. So ma'am was sitting there, helped me that uh, have you read this? Have you read this like this? So j I just got the points and then I took the pen and uh, get to the whiteboard and draw something like that. Means my approach was right. You said that what was my uh, overall analysis. So I came to know that my approach was good. Means though I was not perfect to the point that they were expecting, but at least I was to the approach. They were expecting that at least you must reach this level or this approach. So I think that my approach was good. Though my uh, uh, level that they were uh, asking may, may not be to the point. Yeah, this is absolutely true. And this, uh, you know, one student should understand the interview of these organization is approach based, not the final answer. Yes, based, right? yes And sir. you know, if you have knowledge, if you have the conceptual clarity, only then you will be in the position to get the hint provided by someone else. That is why yes, this sir. just you. Okay. Assume someone don't having the clarity of concept, you provide him hundred hints. He will not be yes, in the position they, to get and click. They will, right? know that, they will know that you are just uh, bluffing and not doing anything. Right, 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 but right. if you have the concept now, then they will absolutely help they are very helpful in this yeah in beginning you told me you mentioned them four subject right so they ask you yes, questions sir. from all the four subject if yes then equal proportion or from some subject more and from some subject no, very sir. no sir no sir actually i have told you they started with the power electronics and then i manipulated towards them towards the power system so and later all the questions were from power switch gear protection and then do they don't ask from machines and control system they don't ask Okay, so finally, what they concluded? Did they make any remark on your performance, or they simply said you to leave the you know meeting room or interview room? No, sir. All the panels asked me question. In last uh, two members asked me some environmental question that what is the composition of the LI thing. After all, they just asked me that we have asked you enough question. Now, is there anything you want to ask me? So I said, sir, what was my, how was my interview? Means what can, was my drawback in this interview? So they said, no, it was all good. And then said, uh, you, uh, is there anything you want to ask me, us? 
then i said oh, no sir okay sir thank you and then said okay you can leave they were very happy at the end of my interview means they were uh, just smiling and not like the, it was a very serious phase or no I means they were helpful and they were also cheerful that's I mean, good. in between we have some laughs thing like that also not that it is very serious and everything is silent not it was not like that I means right, right. the interviewer must enjoy I means i was like enjoying myself yes i am giving i am telling my knowledge and they are helping me and then i am telling they are helping me like this it was not a like situation that uh, serious situation it was not all like that right right in the starting we feel like that it may be very serious thing and there are so many panel members but right. nothing was like that right right see for these uh, interviews the duration is 30 40 50 1 hour even right so if yeah, your interview yes, is lasting for that much duration then you can't sit serious you need to enjoy the moment only then you yes, will sir. be able to perform there right okay yes sir yes sir so they were... also help so very much to uh, tackle the pressure of the interview when right, you right, laugh, right. when you uh, take the uh, condition towards a cheerful mode then it also becomes easier for you to uh, deliver the your knowledge true 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 true, true. so yes, they were finally happy everyone in the family you got at least one dream yes, sir, to yes, start sir. with hmm? yes sir yes sir Okay, no so doubt, and this child was my dream. Great, and, great. Uh, so, Divya, there are many students who want to prepare for interview of these organization, right? And we all know they are one of the difficult interview to crack. So, as you have cracked yes, the interview, sir. okay, you are the right person and right fellow to mentor and give your suggestion or small tips. How basically one yes. should and one shall prepare for the interview of these organization? Sir, actually, first of all, the thing is you know the basic concepts. you should read your notes and uh, and apart from that one of the most important thing is to conduct the snaps as given by the your pedia right, sir right. snaps are very important i right. give snaps and mock interview and all those things and i saw the uh, lectures and uh, given on the your pedia module and everything so i uh, go through it and then i see that uh, not just uh, uh, revising the things was important but even the delivery, delivery of the thing was also important right, that right, right. Uh, snaps helps me in this very much and i was uh, uh, taking regular snaps from uh, sir rajiv sir and all those mentors my mentors helped me very much and they actually they select every bit point that you are how you are speaking this thing matters more, more. Right, apart right. from the knowledge they see your confidence they see right. how you tackle the pressure they see how you you are tackling the questions right, and right. you are giving the answers right, so right this right. is very important apart from knowledge right right very true divyansh very true so we wish you all the best this is just a beginning to your career and coming time you wish yes, you know, there are lot of success in your journey and you may achieve the milestone right okay thank you sir thank you very much okay divyansh thanks a lot for joining thank you sir okay